This is me. And this is me dad. Me dad is known as a cheeky chap. Always playing tricks. Having a laugh. Causing mischief. Me and my dad together. We like to have a drink. Go to match. Wind each other up. We're best mates. We have our ups. Downs. Sideways. But at the end of the day. He is me dad. I'll be best mate. On the 16th of January, my dad's place of work, a gas plant in Algeria, came under attack from a terrorist group with links to Al Qaeda. 39 employees were killed, 29 terrorists were killed, but luckily, my dad, along with seven of his friends, managed to sneak about, hide, and eventually escape. After three days, He returned, but something was missing. Along with post-traumatic stress, he lost many good friends. One of which was Gary Barlow. Just over one year has passed since the attack, and my dad has been pushing on, trying to get back to normal. He is angry, sad and hurt. The painful thing is, I can't do anything to help. This part of his life, he'll have to fight on his own. All I can give is support. I arranged an interview with my dad to talk about Senate Miras and to see how it affected him. What was going through your mind when you come home from Algeria? That everything was a dream. Nothing was real. Everything was just crazy. Couldn't sleep. Couldn't settle. Didn't know where my friends were. Didn't know where I was. How often do you think about what happened? Every day. Every night when I go to sleep. Every quiet moment. Just all the time, constantly. I think of Gary, Gordo. I think of Tura. Every time a certain song comes on the radio. Every time. It's just always. It's always there in the back of your mind. I don't think it'll ever go away. I've just got to try and deal with it and control it. So when I do think, I don't get upset. How would you describe Gary Barlow? What did you used to go up to? <laughs> Football. Gary was a good blue. I know there's no other type. We always talked at the, the day of the attack. We were actually together because we were talking about the football results the night before. Gary was a great bloke, really was. At the National Memorial Arboretum, a tree was placed in memory of Gary Barlow and a bench was placed by my dad and a friend in memory of all lives lost during the siege. I asked my dad if we could visit, just me and him, to help give him closure, maybe to move on. We visited the memorial, me and my dad. It was a two hour drive. We laugh, listen to the radio, and talk fussy. It's 150 acres, so it took us a while to find it. We finally found it, then I stepped back. This was a moment for me dad. This was closure. This is the end of this chapter. It's final goodbye. Here, you can move on. Be at peace. Three days later, his friends attended the survivors' wedding, Ray Bell and his wife Michelle. Attending were Kev Graham, a George You Can Drink, Stephen McFall, and Mick Tocacy, and Hugh. That's not forgetting Gary Roberts, aka Scoodle. All of whom survivors, all of whom are friends to the very end. Three days earlier, me and my dad attended the memorial to say goodbye to the hardest of Algeria, to get back to the father and son duo we were. Now, we are joining Ray on his new chapter, which evidently is a new chapter for us all.
So with this being a new chapter, this is me and my half fella. Together we like to go to the match, have a drink, and have a laugh. That's life. That's life. That's what all the people say. You're right.